Hi there guys, um, Busher here again. Um, um, this is a, a really quick a bit of an update of um, when I'm making my son's, um, uh, well, I suppose, uh, combat -y fieldy knife for him, as I mentioned in the first video. Um, took it down to see him down in Waiuru, uh, visiting day. Sounds like he's in prison really. Um, but uh, he was happy with it, happy with the size and the, everything, so I've just got a, I've just finished putting all the holes in, um, which is what I'll just, a um, couple of tips on there and I'm just going to knock the edges off and put a partially start the bevel on there before I do the heat treat and you know, clean it up and do the heat treat for the knife. Um, so that's where I'm at with that, I'll show you that in a moment. And the other thing is a couple of little um, things on drilling and things that I've tended to err towards very recently. And um, one of the things I've stopped doing is I've stopped drilling pilot holes. Um, I know some people are very keen on pilot holes, I've actually stopped. So the process I tend to follow now is I will actually drill a small indent, that lets me put my uh, cutting oil into the indent, I then drill the holes. What I've actually found is that by not using a pilot hole, the bigger drills last longer. I don't know why, maybe it's the way they're hitting the edges of the steel or whatever else, but I find they last longer and better that way. I'm just going to bobby on here and just show you what I'm uh, talking about. So, here we are, I'm putting a 3mm hole, this is actually just for cutting, this is for making the little pegs, so when the uh, cases, when the handle slabs are fastened on it, it gives it a grip. So I tighten this up. I always use all three holes, little nip on all three holes, get that as straight as possible, don't just rely on one. It also tightens it up much nicer. These have just had a quick, um, these have had, just have been punched, ready for drilling. Uh, set my drill up so I don't have to move it too far. It's been doing some long, some uh, bigger holes. So central yep okay nice and clean okay so the first thing I do is I'm just going to put drill those little indents I know you won't be able to hear me but here we go <laughs> So that's all I'm actually talking about, just a small dent, just enough to hold a little spot of cutting oil. There we go, on that out of the way. And I'll drill the rest of the hole. Again, as I've said before, nice steady pressure. You should be seeing nice curls coming off. So that's the holes drilled. Little uh, Bushman's knife I'm working on here. Started the thing the other day. Not been able to do too much at the minute. The back's still playing me up. Um, so I'm only able to do bits and pieces. Can't stand up for very long. Um, and that's the holes drilled. So like I say, I've stopped using pilot holes. Go straight to the drill size. I find they last longer. Small indent, drop of oil. Drill them through nice and steady. No heat build up in the drill at all. If you keep it nice and steady, and you've got your speeds correct. The other thing I've found is I've been working on my little uh, grinder here and it's taken quite a bit of time and spent a bit of effort making sure everything is lined up so that the drive wheel at the back, the uh, two inch belt sits bang on, that comes through the centre of the wheel at the top, the centre of my two uh, working wheels and the platen dead central. That allows me then to be able to, uh, with the adjustment, move the belt either side if I'm wanting to use the edges to cut in and finish. Um, and the other thing is, no matter what kind of a grinder you're using, whether it's just a flat platen grinder or anything else, the straighter you've got your belt running, the less side pressure you're going to have on your bearings, the longer your machine's going to run, the smoother it runs, the better the grind finish you get. So a bit of a tip with that there. And as I said, these two blades I've got to at the moment. So my son's, uh, what's going with my son's knife, hopefully when that's all done and I've learnt how to make a kydex sheath and everything for him. And my uh, bush knife, um, a bit similar to a kitchen knife there, but makes it very useful. I'm going to grind the edges off them, they're going to be cleaned up and then heat treated. So a couple of little tips there for you, hope that helps and uh, I'll catch you later. <laughs> 